Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Pedro Torres's, um, I'm sorry if I butchered your last name by the way, but we're going to be looking at his Decidueye, Meganium, Kingdra, Porygon Z deck. There's a lot going on in this deck, but we are going to be taking a look at this deck today and what it's all about and what it does. I will leave a link to Pedro's Twitter in the description down below. Obviously, it's his deck. I'll leave a link to it. There are some other decks I do want to look at from this past weekend. There's a Sceptile Credilly deck from the expanded format. Um, there was a, apparently, uh, there was a uh, Steelix and a Cargo deck. I want to find the list for that, but I can't find a list. They're not a limitless or anything. So, yeah, I hopefully can do those videos. There's a lot of decks to look at from this past weekend. It's just, I can't find the deck list. I know the decks exist, but I cannot find the deck list. Like the, the Steelix and Cargo deck and the Sceptile Credilly deck. Um, that use file plume. So yeah, we're going to be looking at Pedro's deck because it is online. I found it and uh, obviously we're going to look at it today and what it's all about. This is a very interesting take on Meganium. I know we just looked at a Meganium deck and I actually have a few other Meganium decks that I do want to cover. So expect to see some Meganium videos in the future because there's a lot of cool stage 2 Pokemon you get to run with Meganium. That's what makes it so cool is it's such a unique card that there's so many possible combinations with Meganium. It's awesome. So Meganium, Decidueye, and there's a lot of a lot of stage twos in here. So let's take a look at the main one that is Decidueye GX. One of the main ones is Decidueye with the ability Feather Arrow, being able to put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. You have Hollow Hunt and Razor Leaf also, which are pretty useful. Decidueye being a grass type, lets you hit Lycanrox for weakness, which is relevant. And then also you have Feather Arrow, which is kind of the main thing about it. Um, the attacks are nice, but Feather Arrow is one of the things that make this card good. Because we're gonna use Feather Arrow in combination with Porygon Z. Porygon Z is great in, in the late game. It has the ability Initialize, which you get to play with Meganium for free, which is awesome. The turn you play Porygon down, you get to use Porygon Z. When you place Pokemon from your hand to evolve on your Pokemon during your turn, you may de-evolve each of your opponent's evolved Pokemon by putting the highest stage evolution card on top into your opponent's hand. So this is really powerful with Decidueye. After a couple terms of hitting a bunch of Pokemon with Feather Arrow, those 60 HP Pokemon, which are more common now because of Elm's Lecture, um, they get de-evolved, and you get to take two to three prizes. You don't knock out the GX, but knocking out the normal Pokemon is perfectly fine. So all these, like, big stage two decks will get crippled by Initialize. So Porygon Z is a very big player in this deck with Decidueye as a combination. But there's a lot of other attackers in this deck. Uh, one of them is Sogaleo GX. Sogaleo GX is a very strong card with the ability Shiny Mane. Being able to get rid of weaknesses is huge on Decidueye. Um, and Kingdra, getting rid of the grass and getting rid of the fire weakness is important. Um, and then you have Turbo Strike and Prominence. Prominence can be really good in the late game when you're trying to just wall with the Sidueyes and put Feather Arrow damage on the board. You can like heal them off with Prominence. You have Turbo Strike. You are a Metal type, which means you get to go through Nine Tails and Gardevoir pretty easily. So that's one of the big reasons why Sogaleo is so important here. And then also, of course, we are playing the Mudkips and Swampert. Swampert is amazing, not only to deal with Blacephalon, but Power Draw is super crucial to just be able to keep getting Stage 2s going and just keep the ball rolling. And it's good to have this draw support since you already have Meganium. You might as well play Swampert. And the list also played a 1-1 Kingdra line. Kingdra is here for the attack Hydro Pump, which is 10 plus 50 more damage for each Water Energy attached to Pokemon. If you slap a Super Boost Energy on your Kingdra, you're hitting insanely good numbers. Um, obviously, Super Boost Energy um, lets you do 160 damage with Hydro Pump, but Kingdra with the Rainbow Energy and with the Sidewise Feather Arrows actually allows you to one-shot uh, Blacephalon fairly easily. As you can see, this list does not play anything like Choice Band, so that is a possible combination you get is Kingdra Rainbow Energy. And you also have Maelstrom GX, which is really good with Porygon Z and Decidueye also. So Kingdra is a really good Pokemon in here, and of course to round things out we got Three Vulpix, two Ninetales. I've always liked playing three Vulpix with Ninetales um, because your Vulpix gets killed fairly easily, then you can't play a Ninetales down. So it is nice to have these three Vulpix. And then, of course, Ninetales is initially just here to set up your Meganiums because once you get Meganium online, the deck starts flowing. Two Tapu Leles, of course, for the ability. And uh, that's it for the Pokemon. Pretty crazy. Of course, we got Porygon, Porygon Z. There is a lot of stage two Pokemon in this deck. That is what makes it so good. There's a lot of stage two Pokemon in this deck, a lot of different variations of the metal water grass but it's kind of like a heavy hitting the evolution deck there are certain matchups where stuff is important obviously kingdra is really good um against Blacephalon, but also maelstrom can be used against those evolution heavy decks like zoark and uh, yeah 
Let me go into the items now. We got four candies in the deck, of course, because we want to be able to get Meganium down, another stage twos in play, one stretcher for our Pokemon, three copies of Timer Ball, three Ultra Balls were played in the list too, obviously, to get, you know, what you need to search for. Two copies of Brooklyn Hill to be able to just slap down four C Volpix or Mudkip. Now, the interesting thing in this list is three Ace Rollers. Ace Roller is really good in this deck for multiple reasons. One, it lets you reuse Porygon Z with the Rainbow Energy. Two, it lets you reuse uh, Decidueye GX with Rainbow Energy, so you can potentially do a double Feather Arrow in one turn. Um, and you can also Ace Roller these big Pokemon like Sogaleo and Kingdra and maybe Ninetales, but Ace Roller is just huge in this deck. Being able to Ace Roller like a big Stage 2 Pokemon is insane, and letting you reuse potentially Decidueye's Feather Arrow multiple times in one turn, and also letting you multiply, um, use multiple copies of Porygon Z, super useful. Uh, we got three Cynthia's, one Lily, uh, four Elms Lecture, two Guzmas, of course, and we are playing one Gladian in case we prize something very important, specifically stuff like our 1-1 one, one lines of Pokemon or our Super Boost Energy. Uh, we are playing one Counter Gain. The list is interesting that I played one copy of Counter Gain, but it is good in here just so you can attack with one energy um, or potentially no energy, I guess, if that makes any sense, but it's really good. Technical Energy, maybe Hydro Pump for a DCE. Uh, pretty good card. Uh, you don't really need Choice Band this type of a deck because it's kind of a straightforward deck. Um, now we go to the energy. Once your boost energy, of course, for a lot of these big Pokemon that could pop off, like Kingdra, and obviously even Decidueye could use it for Razor Leaf. Three copies of DC and three Rainbows. Rainbow energy is very important for Ace Rolla and Porygon, and potentially Decidueye. So yeah, that is Pedro's Pedro's list. I'm sorry if I can't pronounce your name. I really do apologize if I can't. I'm not very good at that sometimes. But we are going to be looking at this deck today, and hopefully I can eventually find some of the other lists from this past weekend. There was a lot of rogue decks from what I have heard from this past regional. So there was a lot of big rogue decks being played. Um, so it was like a rogue deck buffet, and there's a lot of decks to cover. So we're going to get into Meganium, and again, I want to have a lot of other Meganium videos. I have a lot of other Meganiums planned, so we're going to definitely look at Meganium more down the road. There's a lot of other cool decks. I even have a Meganium expanded deck with Embor that I want to look at soon. But yeah, let's go get some games of this deck right now. All right, here we go. We're gonna go do some games with Pedro's deck. I'm excited to play it. As I just spilled Coke all over my pants. Oh my goodness. Anyways, I'm excited to play. And uh, we'll see what we're up against first. I can't remember, actually I wasn't paying attention what the types were. We'll find out, I guess. All right, let's see what we start with. We got a Rowlet start. Pretty solid hand, actually, I would say. The only thing this deck I think is really missing is a uh, Pow Pad to be able to get your Ace Rolls back. But other than that, uh, this list works. Alright, so we'll see how we do. Ooh, Blacephalon. Alright, I think we're okay. Obviously, we have answers to Blacephalon, so I'm not too worried. Uh, we can do a turn one Elm, so let's see we prize. So, we got one Mudkip prize. We did prize Kingdra. Okay, that's a little annoying. Obviously, we have Gladian, though. Yeah, we got Gladian. Okay, so how many... Did we prize Meganiums? No, we didn't. Alright, so we'll Elms here. So, prizing Kingdra kind of kind of sucks, I guess. It forces us to have to dig for a Gladian. That's whatever. Uh, we'll get Horsey, Chikorita, and Mudkip. I mean, I want to get Vulpix too, but we do have Meganium in hand next turn, so it's not a big deal. And we're not going to need Porygon Z in this matchup, so we can just slap down a bunch of these guys. We can DC the Mudkip, so we can attack with Swampert. Go from there. This might be a bit of a harder matchup, but I'm glad I found it, because it is a matchup where these water types are useful, so I'm not too upset, you know. It might be a bit of a tough matchup. Really, all we have to deal with Blacephalon is Ninetales, Kingdra, and Swampert. But to be fair, we could win the game just off of those three taking out multiple Blacephalons, right? Sublimation, Hydro Pump, and Hydro Pump again? Yeah. I might try and get a Decidueye down soon. I don't want to use it, though, because I don't want to take give him two prizes. But I might use Decidueye. That 20 damage goes a long way with Hydro Pump. Then we can save the Super Boost Energy for Kingdra. We will get Neganium, Mag Meganium down this turn. I said Neganium. Get a Treasure. He's going to get a bit of a setup here, which is a little scary. Let's see what we can do. We should be okay, though. I'm not too worried about... This matchup, we got a good hand though, so that's good. Getting a good hand is always nice. Getting a good hand is always good. We just gotta be careful with how many, like, we're gonna definitely need to situate this matchup. We just gotta be careful how many we use. Good thing he won't be knocking me out this turn. He does get a free burst off though, which is 
kind of annoying. Hopefully, what he discards is like something really bad, like a, I don't know, something like a supporter. A Guzma would be great. Okay, he's gonna burst. Let's see what he gets rid of. An energy would be a little scary. Okay, you got rid of a Poipole. Fair enough, I guess. Could have been worse. Alright, we drew Chikorita, so we'll Ultra Ball away, Porygon, and Ace Rolla. We'll keep the Chikorita, because Meganium is always a target for these Pocephalon decks, considering how easy it is for Meganium to get KO'd by a Fire-type Pokemon. Alright, so we got the ball rolling. We'll Cynthia. Wow. Okay, we kind of got screwed over this hand ain't great. I can get Decidueye down and do Hollow Hunt. But, again, we might need Sublimation. But I can do Hollow Hunt here, and I can get back a couple good cards. Is it worth it? Plus, we get that 20 damage on. We can knock him out with Swampert. Don't hate it. But I don't like it either. <laughs> it's a little risky. Uh, where do we want to put this DCP? Just to... I, don't know, I think we'll put on Lele. I don't think we'll ever attack with Lele, but actually... Giving up two prizes here is not good, though. I don't know if I want to do that, but... Yeah, our hand is really bad. I might ha- I think I have to. I really don't want to do this. I might have to, though. Like, this hand is just isn't very good. But, I get some benefits here. I do put enough damage on him for Swampert to KO him. And I get to do Hollow Hunt. I kind of have to. Like, again, this hand was just not very good. I'll get Ace Roller back. Great. Yeah, the off chance he doesn't knock me out. I can Ace Roller my Decidueye, maybe. Knock him out with Swampert. If that does happen, we'll see. We might survive the turn. Who knows? I'm undoubtful of it. We didn't get Sogaleo in play. Maybe it's something we should focus on Sogaleo. There's so many Sage Deuce, but uh, really, Sogaleo would be good, I think, right now. We just can't get access to it, unfortunately. Sogaleo is good in this matchup, though, I think. We'll see if he takes me down. All he really needs is three energy discards, so he just needs an Agandel and an energy, so... The situation ain't living, but I kind of had to do that play where I had to do all of them. This hand was just not very playable. Not much I could have done. Guzma wasn't doing me anything. I think I had to do that. I don't know if it was the best play. I'm giving him two free prizes, but that's rough. If I wasn't starting with Rowlet, I'd be okay. I mean, we just kind of got screwed over with that Cynthia, I think. Really, that's what that kind of just came down to. We didn't get a good Cynthia. Uh, we'll see if he KOs me here. If somehow we survive the turn, this could be big. If we survive, I will be very shocked. I'm actually really... Ah, rip. He got the knockout. He has to get rid of all the energy, though. I mean, we can respond with a KO of our own because of Swampert. Maybe. I guess we can just play the other DC then. Whatever, sure. This is kind of bad, though. Giving him these three prizes isn't what I wanted to do. But the good thing is, once we take out one of the Cephalon, he's got to take a turn or two to build up another one. Which is fine enough. It does kind of suck, though, that if you give him three prizes right off the gate, that's not what I like to see. Maybe he just... I'm going to laugh if he doesn't actually knock me up. But, uh, let's be real, that's going to happen. Yeah, rip. I hate to give him that free two prizes... But we'll see what we can go and we can do from here. Sorry to sit you eye. But you know what? It, we got a lot of use out of you, buddy. You actually were very useful. Alright, so we play the other DC on our Mudkip. We'll Ultra Ball away. Probably Chikorita. And I think Rare Candy can go. We have Meganium in play. We get Swampert down, which is important. Swampert. It's kind of tanky. It forced him to have to find four energies or like a, a beast energy and knock me out, which is pretty good. Um, I kind of feel like holding the hand, but I'm gonna Cynthia. We need to maybe get like Cosmog down or something. Rip didn't get many good things. I will right, we'll power draw away a Vulpix. We can hold the Guzma, which is good. We can definitely Guzma him and knock out the other Bocephalon maybe. Okay, we got Cosmog. All right, we'll bump that. We will... Do I Brooklyn Hill? 
Yeah, I think we broke our kill. Don't need to thin, but I just want to search. Hmm. There is a bit of an issue. I can't retreat here and go into something and then go knock out Blacephalon. That's kind of my main issue. He might even confuse me. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I do thin. Yeah, we'll thin. And, uh, we'll knock him out. We'll see what we go from here. We'll see what our two prizes are. We know we did prize a Mudkip. There it is. Hey, another Rainbow Energy. That's pretty good. So this could be bad. I think what he's going to do this turn, and he's he's going to hit me with a Bursting Burn. Or we give him B-String Axis. I completely forgot about that. Okay, rip. Rip, 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 rip. Um... Yeah. <laughs> forgot that uh, B-String is a thing. Okay. <laughs> hmm. I think we lose. We got a really bad hand, too. Our hand's pretty trash. I think we bring out Cosmog. No, I guess we can bring out Volpix. I don't know. <laughs> this hand is not good. That's all I'm gonna say. At least he has to get rid of three of his energies to knock out Swamper. That's literally, like, the only good thing I can see to come from this. This guy had, like, the best hand he could have asked for. He had everything he needs. He found Choice Band, Double Beast String. Oh, yeah, let's have the Cynthia in your hand to follow up with the Naganadel. Yes, let's just spoon feed him. I love when that happens. Yeah, I don't really know what we can do at this point. We're in trouble. He's gonna get Lele for game next turn, too. Yeah, we basically lose. I don't see how we're winning this. We kind of got screwed over by having to give up Decidueye to get out of that awful hand we had. This is a matchup I think we can definitely beat. We have the answers to it. It's just we got, like, oh my gosh, how much energy do you need? Holy, oh my gosh. This guy's got, what, seven energy in play? Oh, yeah, I forgot he could just do that. Okay, um, I'm trying to think, what can I do? He wins next turn. I don't think Kingdra can bail me out either. What can Kingdra do? If I do manage to, like, find a Kingdra, it is possible I can get a really good top deck, and then I can potentially get Kingdra, and I can get... Uh, the Super Boos? Guzma? Nah, it's not gonna happen. Yeah. Don't see yeah, we're not gonna win that. That's AIDS. Alright, well that sucks. Uh, we'll find another match with our deck here. Unfortunately, we did lose a matchup that I think is it's definitely winnable. We just got kind of unlucky. Not gonna lie, we didn't really get much going either in that game. To be fair. And I forgot about B-String, but really there's nothing I can do. We kind of just didn't get many good things. We barely got any Stage 2s in play that match, but this hand is looking five times better, and that's perfect. That is perfect. I think like the deck can beat Blacephalon, but again, we were just not able to find anything. Oh my gosh, we're up against Kieran. Alright, so we'll do Elms for Horsey. No, we don't have Horsey. Chikorita, Mudkip, Rowlet. No, I think we need Cosmo. What do we prize? Not much. Alright. Forget Rowlet, we'll get Cosmo. Sogaleo is super important to one-shot these white Kieran's. Don't know where to put this Rainbow Energy, though. Would like to attach to the active. Maybe drop a Ninetales. I don't hate that. But we'll probably get KO'd. I think we'll just attach to Mudkip to maybe set up a Swampert Knockout. Yeah, sure. I don't know. I don't. I didn't really know where to put that. But I did want to play an Energy this turn. I don't really think Ninetales is very good here. Obviously, Sogaleo is going to be kind of the main guy. I mean, he's never going to one-shot Sogaleo. So, Ace Rolla, Sogaleo. Insanely powerful combo. Okay, let's see if he's able to get the Arceus play he needs. Just needs a Lightning Pokemon. Does he find it? Does find an energy. He might just attack me just to attack me. Oh, he doesn't. Never mind. Okay, pretty good. Porygon, alright, you're pretty much a useless card. Well, Cynthia, hopefully we hit Burkane and Meganium. Nope, we did find Rowlet. I guess we can flame him. 
trying to think. Alright, we'll play that on the Rowlet. I don't think we're getting knocked out next turn. So we're just going to beacon for Meganium and Ninetales. We have the Ultra Ball. You can always save that. I think Kingdra's good here too. It's tanky and also a super boost energy does allow me to one shot White Kirin fairly easily. I think we're chilling. I'm just gonna hold the hand. I could have played the rainbow. Oh, he's just passing, so he is not getting much going, which is basically what we want to see. We can plop down Nine Tails here. We can play his ability, get rare candy. I guess we can grab Timer Ball. Right? Yeah, Timer Ball. Whatever, sure. I think Timer Ball's fine. Stretcher wouldn't have been bad either, so I can get rid of a couple guys. But we'll do whatever. So we'll Ultra. Rare Candy, sorry, into Meganium. We will Timer Ball. Okay, we'll get Sogol. We'll get Swampert. We'll play Swampert down. We will. I'm not gonna actually attach the active. I don't know. He needs to do 190, actually, so that's actually a bad idea to play the Rainbow in the active, because it's actually pretty easy for him to KO my Ninetales here. We'll Power Draw. I don't know. Actually, let's just play the Rainbow Energy on the Rowlet. Actually, I don't really know what I want to Power Draw away, to be fair. I kind of want to keep everything. Especially Ultra Ball. I might just wait to Power Draw. But I do want to find a Guzma, though. I guess Kingdra can go. I don't, it's not needed right now. Brooklyn Hill, don't need that. I right, we just pass. Yeah, maybe next turn we can power drop, maybe hit Sogaleo, and then maybe do a Lele for Guzma, try and knock out one of these white Kirams, maybe Arceus even, so he doesn't have access. Actually, no, we can't knock out Arceus. Arceus is not weak to metal, but we can knock out one of these white Kirams, so that's good. Gotta be careful how many Ace Rolls I play too. Ace Roll is a huge card in this matchup. Being able to just recover Sogaleo. Sogaleo is super important. He's just gonna pass, so he just doesn't have much. Alright, we're just gonna power draw away Brooklyn Hill. See what we find. Okay, we did find Timer Ball, so we are gonna be able to end Lele, so we're guaranteed to get the Sogaleo. Hey, double heads. We'll get Sogaleo. Get the Sidueye. Does not matter what I grab there. We'll Meganium, plop down Sogaleo. We're just getting a big setup. The fact that he's not getting much is really, really good. I don't know if this is the list from Harrogate. But we'll find out one day. All right, we'll drop Lele in before both my Guzma surprise. One of them was, so that was close enough. But we're in a good spot right now. The only thing that's kind of worrying is maybe like a shrine coming down. Because I could bump with Broken Hill, I guess, but like, we don't ever want to do that. And what is Turbo Strike? Take the first KO. See, maybe we get the other Guzma off the prizes. We can take out both those Kirims. That'd be nice. See what our prize is. DCE, I'll take it. Like, one good thing with Ninetales is that technically we can Snowy win, maybe set up, you know, the 100 damage we would need with Swampert, but he concedes anyway, so it does. But that is the strength of this deck. There's a lot of ways you can play this deck, which is what makes it so fun. Sogaleo showing off how it's good against this matchup. Yeah, he just didn't draw very well. He had Mars Shadow, that could have been pretty disruptive. He did play four Shrine of Punishments, so... Shrine and, like, maybe Arceus would have been kind of big on Sogaleo. It's not a perfect matchup, but... I do think it is winnable thanks to Sogaleo and Ace Roll... And Ace Roll being so good. But I think we, we did good there. So I'll catch you guys a minute with another game. Maybe we can show off the Porygon Z a little bit, so I'll see you guys in just a moment. Alright guys, here we go. We are going to go do some more games with the deck today. See if we can do some Porygon Z combos. And Alright, we are playing against maybe a mirror match-ish? I don't know, we'll see. Psychic and Grass and Colorless. Let's see if we get to use Porygon Z at all. That'd be nice. Alright, let's see what we start with. We did get a good hand last game, so... <laughs> Didn't get the greatest of hands, we get Porygon Z. Or Porygon, Porygon, Porygon Z, Porygon 2. Porygon Cubed is going to be the next Porygon that's going to be released. So no turn 1 Elms from the looks of it, unless he like judges me, Marshadows me, or my top deck. And ooh, he's playing Lost March. Alright, Lost March is I'd say a fairly good matchup for us. 
Unfortunately, oh, wow, he actually hit a Guzma. That's kind of annoying. It's not a big deal, though. Guzma's okay. We have one in our hand, so at least we know the other Guzma's safe if anything comes down to it. And he actually just gets rid of two of his Guzmas. So I'm actually expecting to get Marshadowed here, which is good. I guess one of the problems is Jump Pluff can't be de-evolved. That kind of sucks, but this is a fairly good matchup. Low HP Pokemon, what we want to see. All right, I hope he Marshadows me because I do want to pull off a Troan Elms here. That's very important, but his hand is not that good, so we might not get it, but we'll see if we get there with our top deck. It's going to get Triple Hop it. So I think Kingdra is not very good here. Sogaleo is good. Ninetales is really good. Decidueye is amazing. So we do have a lot of good Pokemon in this matchup. Swampert is good for the ability. Can't really attack. But we will probably try and get Sogaleo. And this guy just got a quad hop up on his first turn. Yikes. Hopefully he just has a bad hand. Alright, at least we know he's not Marshadowing me. Which is kind of bad because his hand doesn't have turn 1 Elms. He's going to get another Trumbeak. Right, we'll see if this Trumbeak hits a supporter. That would really suck if it hits an Elms. Okay, good. Alright, what do we draw? Elms? No. Chikorita's good. It's another Pokemon we can play down. We'll see what we get off Cynthia. Wow. There's the Elms Lecture. And there's double rare candies. So that's fine enough. Not the best hand, but not the worst. Alright, we'll see how many Skip Blooms this guy gets going this turn. He didn't get one off the Great Ball. He's going to Cynthia... And let's see if the Cynthia just doesn't give him anything. And hopefully he just gets a bunch of jump bluffs in his hand. Because that would be amazing so that he cannot get many jump bluffs in play. He's going to attach DC to Ranguru. He's setting up the retreat. I mean, Porygon Z is kind of cannon fodder. It's never going to be used in this matchup. So we can let Porygon get KO'd, I think. Ooh, he's going into Hop It. He's going to pass. So he didn't get any skip blooms, which is good. This does buy us a turn to be able to Elms Lecture here for Mudkip, Rowlet, and Vulpix, I guess. Cosmog. Alright, what do we prize? So, we got both the Sidueyes. We did prize. Um, not much actually. Okay. Do we get Sogaleo? Because Sogaleo, I think, is good here. It does do a lot of damage. And it's pretty hard for him to one shot on Nat, too. Ooh, we did pri we prize two rainbows. Okay. Since we're not really attaching a Vulpix this turn, I don't really think we need to do much. I guess we could play the two boost energy on, like, a Vulpix just, just because it would be good to get the thing on. Whatever. We'll wear candy into Chikorita, or Meganium, sorry. We'll Meganium into Swampert. We will Power Draw away, probably just Rare Candy. I'm gonna keep the other Meganium. Might regret that, but whatever. There's Stretcher. Not much we could work with for now. That's fine. We'll pass. Again, Porygon's not doing much, so I'm fine with it just getting KO'd here. I'm going to have to hold on to my other candies. But everything else I kind of want to keep. And there's Porygon Z. <laughs> we can play Porygon Z next turn. Which would do absolutely nothing. We're going to do another Cynthia. And does he hit any skip blooms? He's probably going to at least hit one this time. But again, we just got to hope he does not get that many jump plus. Or, yeah, he gets all the jump plus in his hand. That would be just ideal. So he's going to Great Ball. Most likely going to get a skip bloom here. Yep. Hopefully he has a bunch of jump plus in his hand. We'll find out, I guess. Porygon will go down this turn, too, which is fine. And then hopefully we can go into something. The only problem is I don't really know what to go into. I guess maybe Rowlet? I don't know. His hand is not that good. So I don't know what to go into. Oh, he doesn't have the energy. So he is getting really unlucky, and this is good. He's buying us the time we need. All right, we'll power draw away Porygon Z. Sadly, I can't Porygon Z away Jump Bluff. All right, so we got Brooklyn Hill. Got Timer Ball. Timer Ball is pretty lit. Double Tails. No, okay, good. <clears throat> good, good, good. And we're gonna get... Yeah, we'll get Decidueye. Because now we'll have the Triple Stage 2 in place. So we can super boost energy if we really need to. But I do want to get this guy down and start getting damage on some of these guys. Could put it on Lele too. And then maybe smack him. Maybe knocks me out. Maybe smack him with a super boost energy. Hydro Pump knockout. Doesn't matter which hop if I hit. 
Because you'll have obviously evolved it. Wait, just I don't know if it. Wait, hold on. Does the damage stay on it? No. Okay. So there's no point of even hitting Hop it. But this does put him like say, hey, if you don't find a skip bloom this turn, you're going to lose that hop hit. I think that's better than nothing. I'm fine with that. I do want to get the other decidui down. But I think I will Brooklyn Hill here for Vulpix. Because we can get Nine Tails going next turn, which is good. And uh, I kinda want to attach to it. So I think I will. You can build up uh, Snowy Wind, which is really good in this matchup. So maybe I should start hitting the jump up then. I could do like a Snowy Wind double feather arrow play at some point. Whatever. You know what? I'm chilling. It's gonna Lily for two or one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, if he doesn't get this skip bloom here, any scoops. <laughs> he scoops. He had an insane turn one, man. This guy was able to get a lot of things going. He was able to get quad hop hip. He had a lot, but unfortunately my opponent just didn't draw very well. Either that or he had just like all the jump left in his hand. But either way, that was good. And alright, looks like we're up against deck that I cannot tell because there's too many types. There's probably another Meganium deck though. So we'll have to see how we do against other Meganium matchups. We'll go for Tails here. We do win it. That's always important, I think, especially in a matchup like this. We'll see how we do. Okay, we got the turn one uh, Elms, which is pretty sweet. Not a bad hand, I'd say, either. It's playable. Guzma, DC, some, you know, stuff we can work with in case we need it. We can also just put some pressure on with Energy Drive. That'd be pretty good. Ooh, okay, looks like it's actually a dis I don't I can't tell. Like it's either gonna be a Megania Decidui deck, like what we're up against, or it's the other way around. So let's see what we prize. So mm, Jeffrey Sogaleo, we prize the Swampert. Looks like we prized Kingdra. Not important. Did we prize Porygon Z? We did. Okay. We do have our Gladian though, which is good. We did prize a DCE, we got all the rainbows, we got one Elm's prize. We got one Ace Roller? No, not, no, Ace Roller is not prized. Okay. We did prize a Timer Ball, though. So we'll go Chikorita, Mudkip, Bullpix, I think. Would like to get Rowlet down, too, but I think these three are more important. So I guess we could maybe try to simply get a Sidewire on that guy, but our hand is not great. Could Ultra Ball here. I think we'll wait a turn to Ultra Ball, so we can get nine tails next turn. Would be nice just to get a nice pick, knock him out with like feather arrow, energy drive, but I think I'm chilling for now. We'll see what kind of a Decidui deck this is. We'll see if it's Decidui Meganium or just Decidui Nine Tails Zoar. Or just Decidui Nine Tails. Okay, it's not Meganium, so that's fine. No Meganium. We don't have a Fire Attacker, unfortunately. There isn't really any good Fire Attackers though in this format, so that's not really a big issue. But we do have Porygon Z. So Porygon Z is finally going to see some action this time around. We just need to get things going. But I can smack him for foes. He's going to retreat him out. I was going to say, are you actually just going to tackle me? He is? What? Are you good? Are you good? Alright, well, I will take it. Uh, Ultra Ball... We can get rid of... Yeah, who's my people? So we grab Alola Ninetales. We actually knock him out, which is big, too. I like that. Two items. What do I need? I guess, like, Timer Ball, Rare Candy. Hope to hit heads. Go into the Meganium. I could play Safe Cap Ultra Ball. But I like living on the edge. <laughs> I don't get it. Don't get it. Alright, we'll just get rid of Sogaleo then. We can always stretch it back. There's Porygon. Alright, rip. Now we're just energy driving. I could, maybe should have played Vulpix down, whatever. I did not expect to get Double Tails though. Timer Ball, you are a joke. We've got another candy though, which is good. I, yeah, I should have played Vulpix. I just realized I had the combo in my hand. That Timer Ball, like, fried my brain. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I should have played Vulpix down my bad. Well, to be fair, not saying he will get triple Decidueye, but anything is possible. I'd like to get my own Decidueye down to this turn. Uh, double 
double tails. Okay, good. I was gonna say, if he gets double heads and I get double tails, that ain't very fun. That's not fun. Now, uh, Rippy has rare candy in his hand. Or maybe he has nine tails in his hand. I guess that's why he didn't retreat. He wanted to play it safe. Yes. But putting the damage on me does mean I can always do Ace Rolla down the road, which I do like. It's gonna get Nest Ball and Rare Candy. Alright, beat Tanner Ball. Alright, it's gonna Rare Candy. We should be able to probably hit Meganium again, though. We do have the other Rare Candy in our hand. Uh, we do have, um, unfortunately, a 60 HP Chikorita, so if somehow this guy triple decidueyes me, we're in trouble. He can knock out Chikorita. And then we have to double Chikorita and sure we're okay. He's going to put a DC on Decidueye. And let's see he's just going to pass. Let's see what he feather arrows. Probably the Chikorita. No, the Swamper. Okay, that's fine. It's interesting. I guess there's actually no point in that, I guess. Unless he's playing... I don't know. Okay, so we got a Stretcher. Uh... We will power draw. I guess we'll do this. I'll just stretch them back in. Okay, there's timer ball. There's Rowlet. That's good. Um, looks like we're just swinging with Lele this turn too. Okay, we'll play timer ball. Double heads would be amazing because then I can get both Magini and Decidueye down. Let's go. Hey, let's go, boys. Nice, nice. I like it. I like it. Alright, so. We will. Rare Candy Meganium. Timer Ball redeemed itself, boys. Timer Ball redeemed itself. Timer Ball is like the most fascinating card in the QCG. It's either gonna get you double tails, and then you're gonna cry, or it'll get you double heads, and then you're gonna be like, holy cow. Uh, we'll Feather Arrow. Start putting damage on that now, so we can set the Porygon play. I'm not gonna reveal the Porygon quite yet. Probably want to play the other Rowlet down. And, yeah. Just in case. I mean, I could make room for another Lele. Kiss any Guzma, but I'm fine with that. We do want to just spread damage. We're going to win this game by just wiping out all the evolutions off the board. And then he'll have nothing to work with. That's our game plan. So he's going to drop a Lele of his own. He's going to definitely try to set up another Des uh, Decidueye play with Ninetales. As long as he doesn't see the Porygon V coming with Gucci. Alright, so he's gonna Cynthia. And, uh, see what he gets. Good thing here. We're probably safe this turn. Don't think he... Well, he could hit a switch. I'm assuming he's playing multiple switches. Or at least one. Maybe even Escape Rope. Escape Rope would be pretty bad. I wouldn't really know what to go into. I guess Ninetales because then we just roll it. Yeah, that's fine. It's kind of nice. We're just tapping with Layla right now. You know? Getting some 40 damage on the board. Good numbers, too. One Feather, Porygon Z, Noxo, Voltix, and Rowlix. That's pretty nice. Alright, so he is going to Feather Arrow, my Swampert. So, yeah, I think Sogaleo is good here for prominence, I think, just to heal everything. So, I do not think he is playing any Porygon Z, obviously. So, I think, I really don't know why he's putting all that damage on. I don't know why he's putting all the damage on my Swamp Bird. Um, really, it doesn't make much sense. Oh, he's going to change the other Vulpix. Okay, let's see. Oh, he's going to pass. Alright, what do we draw? Drew Ace Roller. Alright, so we'll Feather Arrow. Doesn't matter. We can always just hit him for 60, so we'll just hit the uh, Decidueye. We'll Power Draw away the Vulpix. We did get Cynthia, that is quite a hand though. And will Cynthia and try and look for the other Decidueye? Maybe energy or something? Okay, we didn't get the other Decidueye, but we do have some things to work with. Let's actually Rainbow Energy the Ninetales here. Ninetales I think is a good attacker for the extra damage we want to do and we'll hit him for that. So now he's got enough damage on him with the Evolver. And all we really need to do is just set up the Porygon V-Play. And we are going to try and win the game that way. 
just need to get another Decidueye, but we're in a good spot, I think. We could probably bump Counter Gain, too. I don't know if we'll ever need it. He's gonna Feather Arrow, Swampert again. I don't know why he's hitting Swampert, unless he's trying to, like, Snowy win Feather me. I see what he's doing. Like, he knows Swampert's a big player here, but I really don't know why he's strictly going after my Swampert. I can also just Ace Roll it, which I'm probably gonna do if I can hit one here. I'm probably just gonna end up Ace Rolling my Swampert. I don't- I, I, I mean- the only thing I can really see is like, oh, maybe he's gonna boost with a Hydro Pump and like just knock out a 19 or something, or maybe Decidueye. I kinda see why, I guess, I don't know. Alright, he's gonna go into Vulpix, which is good. He's got the energy on, so one energy drive is all we need. Hit him for 80, or 60, sorry. Oh, Pokemon Catcher, double in his head. What? what kind of list plays Catcher? He ain't even playing Counter Catcher. That's what triggers me. Gonna Lily for three. Does he have a Nine Tails play in his hand? I don't think we'll get killed. We have 100 health. He'd have to hit double Decidueye and the Nine Tails to knock me out. It could happen, I guess. Nine Tails gives him two items. If he doesn't hit it. I'll just Ace Roller. He's gonna Ultra Ball. He finds the Nine Tails. Does he have the energy though? He needs a lot here. We still have our three Ace Rollers, and we still have our other Guzma. So that's good. All right, he's gonna get another Decidueye down. Ideally here, it's probably best to just swing with Snowy Wind. He's gonna Rare Candy and the other Decidueye. So Double Decidueye is kind of scary, but we're gonna Double Decidueye him. And our game plan will just come out of nowhere with a Porygon Z. Take out all of his evolutions, and then all he really has to attack with is like a Tapu Lele. Yeah, do we have to watch out for Tapu Cure though, I guess? That can be a bit of a pain in the butt. I don't know if he's playing Rainbow Energy though, so maybe not. He's gonna Double Beacon. Alright, so we didn't hit it, and we can probably Ace Roll of the Swampert this turn. Hopefully we can. We don't have room for Lele though, so that's the only issue. Let's do we draw. Do Cynthia, that's not what we need. I could just super boost energy though too. Alright, well power draw. Counter gain, you can go. I don't think we're gonna need counter gain. And no way to roll uh, RIP. Maybe we just try and hit the super boost energy. sucks. I'm not, gonna lie. not hitting the uh, Ace Roller is kind of bad. We play three of them for a reason. We didn't find the Super Boost Energy either. That's a major rip. We did, however, get another Decidueye. We'll get rid of the Vulpix. That is not a rip. There's Ace Roller, so if somehow we survive the turn, that's a good thing. I don't know if we will, though. It's only taking one prize for this, and I can always try and rebuild up Swampert. Feather Arrow, just keep putting damage on these Decidueyes, we'll pass. So yeah, unfortunately we are going to probably get KO'd here by a Snowy Wind. Unless if we survive the turn miraculously, he uh, we Ace Roll our Swampert. So if we miraculously survive the turn, we can Ace Roll I mean, if not, we can try and get another Swampert back down. It's going to be a little hard though. Swampert is kind of important. Power Draw is really good to help me try and find the Porygon Z when I need it. If not, I'd probably just hit him with a snowy wind, just snipe, put more damage on the board. For the Porygon Z. Oh, he's grabbing Enhanced Hammer. Of course, you're playing Wind Enhanced Hammer and Catcher in your deck, not even Counter Catcher. That's what cheeses me. That's what cheeses me. You're just playing really silly cards. That's really annoying. All right. I don't even know. Well, it doesn't really matter. We can attack with either or, but we'll see what he gets rid of. DCE. Oh, so we thought I was going in with Lele. Lele's not good here. It's too weak. Nine Tails has more HP. See where he does double feather arrow too. We'll see if we even find our own energy too. You never know. We might not hit it. I can Lele. What do I have left? Still have what? One Cynthia, one Lily. So Gladian too. I probably priced an energy. I can't remember though. I think I did. That hand stammer is a little annoying though. He's putting a lot of damage on me. My goodness. He whiffed it. Oh my god. Okay, so we'll power draw, get rid of. So stretcher. I think we get rid of Elms. I was like, maybe we might need that for Porygon. But we'll just get rid of that anyways. Oh, we didn't find an energy though. 
That's pretty annoying. Better than losing our smart grid, though. Wow, no energy, though. That sucks. That really sucks. Ace roll of Swampert. Don't know what I want to go into here. I don't want to go into Ninetales, but if I do hit that Snowy Windplay, that'll be big. I am going to be able to get Swampert right back down. So I get another Power Draw, which is pretty lit. Get rid of Meganium. Yeah, him not find energy was really good. Oh, we didn't hit our own energy, though. We did find Porygon, though, so that's good. But we don't have enough damage on board. Not hidden energy is not what we're not looking for. That made no sense. But yeah, not hidden energy there is a major rip. But we were able to save our Swampert, so I am happy about that. Nine Tails, though, you're probably not surviving the turn. That really sucks. It's not the end of the world, though. We have enough damage on board to set up the game eventually. I can also just take out two Vistasiduais right now if I wanted to. Next turn, most likely. It's gonna grab some. So, yeah. He'll knock me out this turn. Sorry, Ninetales. At least he had to put all the Feather Arrows on my one guy, though. So, yeah. Bit of a rip, Ninetales. You tried. I'm probably gonna bring up Vistasiduais. It's really beefy here. Man, we really didn't need that snowy wind, though. That really sucks. Sorry, he's not hit Decidueye. hit Lele. That's fine. And I think we will maybe just try and go for the Porygon's Lead Devo play this turn. So we'll bring out you. How many rainbows do we have left again? Okay, we're okay. Not what I'm looking for. We'll power draw. Get rid of Rare Candy. Okay, we got Ultra Ball. We got Ace Roller. No energy, though. Why can't I find my energy to play? <laughs> Whatever. Okay, we'll do this. We'll Ultra Ball. We can always structure that back. Who cares? <gasps> Porygon's he's prized! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, shoot! And we can't do Gladian this turn. Oh, that is so, that is a huge misplay on my end, oh my god. Crap. Oh. Oof. I feel that. That is a rip, folks. We prized Porygon Z. No. <sighs> Dang it. Alright, can I find an energy this turn? Okay, not the one I was looking for, though. Okay, we did get Stretcher, though. No Gladian. I need to hold that so I can, like, be a ball Porygon again. <laughs> Dang it, dude! I prized the Porygon Z! I thought it was in the deck. I was not paying attention. <sighs> That's really bad. That's really, really bad. I just gave him a free prize. Or not. No, actually, no. He's still gonna snipe me. Dang it. I am kicking my... I just showed him what I was planning, too. <sighs> I just gotta hope he's not playing Rainbow Energy so he doesn't tap Luke here. Holy crap. Why is Porygon Z prized? Oh, he's gonna knock out Lele too, it looks like. No, he's gonna take out Porygon. Wait, he brings up the decision with no energy on him? Oh, never mind, he's gonna switch. Gosh sakes, why do you have to, Why are you prized? And now I have to stretch your Porygon back. I guess it doesn't matter, I can always shuffle. Uh, but this is really bad, though. We're on a bit of a timer now. Really gotta hope to find Gladian here. I can always ace roll a Lele if it ever comes down to it, though. We'll get rid of Brooklyn Hill. Pretty useless at this point. <sighs> no Gladian. No ace roll it either. Not what I was looking for. And I just showed him what my strategy is, too. Dang. What do you mean, brother? I guess we're hollow hunting this turn. Alright. We'll ace roll a... We can drop Lele, Gladian, I don't know. Should be able to find Gladian. Yeah, we got like five cards left.
Okay, so we'll get back. Porygon, you're coming back. Ace Rolla. Ace Rolla. Just Ace Rolla whatever he hits with Feather Arrow. Dang, bro. <laughs> That's pretty bad. I do want to get Sokaleo in play, though, too, because he is obviously weak. But I'm going to try and just do a Porygon Z play. I think Porygon Z is the best play. We can take, like, five prizes. But, yeah, he should be a better slow setup. We are going to be able to hopefully get Gladian here. We just do one power draw and we should be able to get it. But I just want to keep the Ace Roller pressure on. Just say, hey, I'm an Ace Roller. A judge would be really terrible, though. If he judges me this turn, I'm going to cry. I really hope that Porygon bench spot does not, like, screw me over and makes me end up losing, though. That would be the worst case scenario. I doubt he's gonna judge me, though. We'll see. If he does, Miss Man's got everything. Enhanced Hammer, Pokemon Catcher of all cards. Would you believe it? So we'll probably just Ace Roller Decidua here. See the job. Ace Roller. What are the odds I don't get what I want? I think, at this point, Swampert, you're pretty much dead to me. There's Super Boost Energy. So I think I have to do Ace Roller here. Maybe just sacrifice Swampert? I don't know. We, have the, we do have the Devolution play. So, okay, hold on. What we can do... Oh no, we can actually do the... Yeah, we can do the Porygon Z play this turn. Everything is rare candied, everything's got nice damage on it. Everything is looking mint. I can go into Swampert here too. I could win the game. Yeah, I literally I think I, I win here. Cause he'll bring out Lele, and then we can just feather arrow. No, we can't ace roll that. Never mind. I think we're okay to win though at this point. I don't think he's winning this game. Come to my hand. Come to my hand. Hoo-hoo, we're getting evil, boys. Would you like to de evolve? Yes, I would. <sighs> All right, here we go. We're taking five prizes. And, oh, no, we win the game. It's five Pokemon in play. Oh, man. You know what? That was an insanely intense match, guys. I kind of screwed up with that Porygon. Thankfully, this guy didn't tap with Cure or anything. Holy cow, that was an awesome match. That'll wrap up two days PDCGO video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to help me the road to four thousand subscribers that's what i'm talking about boys porygon z for five prizes probably gonna be in the title of this video and before clickbait no i'm just kidding but that was an awesome match that was a very intense game too a lot of stuff was going down um but yeah overall that was an awesome match uh yeah that'll wrap today's pco video if you enjoyed leave a like so forget again to subscribe to help me on the road to any 4k subs porygon z for the win see you guys later bye bye have a good day shout out to pedro for the deck